let me ask you about politics. You mentioned it earlier, the, yes. um, you, the invitation to join the Obama administration. Um, you were very interested in politics and business when you were younger. You were one of the um, co-founders, I guess you call it, of No Labels, right? Yes. What's, talk a little bit about the genesis of that, the need that you saw and the well, role you wanted to play. this goes back a decade ago, and, and my goodness, right? I, t I ask you a simple question. We compete with the Chinese with 20-year plans. How in God's name can we compete if we can't agree on a budget for 20 weeks? It's a game. Can't agree on a speaker to I, get my, that budget God, to come you forward. Can't agree on a leader. How does it happen? So it's very clear we're misserving ourselves. And it's very clear that the key that I write about in this book is long-term thinking, is having a long-term plan, knowing what's going to matter and getting it done. Our government is not doing that. And it didn't take a, a brain scientist 10 years ago to say maybe there was a better way. And to begin to look at the structural problems in our country that have created the very real hyperpolarization that we see. I believe 365 of our 465 congressional districts were red or blue in the last presidential yeah. election, 60% or greater. The result of that, very simple. That the, that the election occurs in the primary, not the general election. So you get much more polarized candidates running in the primaries. Something's got to give. We're not serving ourselves. The way in which we're operating our government is not leading to the best decisions. And so I would argue we have got to do a better job of bringing people together. We've got to change structurally where we need to change to allow democracy to occur. And we've got to figure out how to talk to each other, to listen to each other with empathy, and to bring this country together. Would you ever run yourself? I, you you know, talk to Howard Schultz about that and says, don't do it. <laughs> well, I, he would no. say that. No, he's had that experience. Um, I, you know, I gave some thought to it. I, I ultimately, f listen, I, I, I got into this to make a difference. But I, I really came to conclude that the most powerful way I could make a difference was in the organizations I was involved in running. It touched people uh, all over this country. Um, it, 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 it touched hundreds of thousands of, of team members. I still get hundreds if not thousands of letters mm -hmm. um, uh, a year from people thanking me. Hey, you fired me, Ron, but I learned more working for you. Yeah, I, I once got flowers from somebody I fired. It's how you fire them, right? Well, it's not it's you, actually, it's you and the job. Yes, and it's what they learned along the way. Yeah. And that to me is, is, is actually, you know, where, where the, the impact comes from and the joy.